So again, the subject is market manipulation, how to be a profitable trader, how to be in harmony with the banks and how to benefit from um, how to have the best timing to enter a benefit together with banks. So I will start. It's a very um, it's a few page presentation. Then we'll go straight to the trading platform and uh, to the explanations there. So basically, important things in professional trading. If we speak about the professional trading, um, this is my points from my perspective. Uh, so in my success, the most important things are uh, basically to create a good picture on the larger frames to know where are institutions, um, you know, basically I mean on the daily, weekly, monthly graphs and to identify where we are heading and what's going on there. We'll go step by step later on and um, I will try to explain you uh, um, everything in this uh, presentation, everything I can because later uh, additional things and uh, Deep, deeper subject I cover in the my mentorship program. Anyway, the second point is the um, price action trading. So pure price action trading, you probably heard already about the supply demand zones, support resistance, and so on and so on. But you must identify what what are the um, uh, main supply demand zones, what are the sub major, what are majors, and so on. Understanding the market background, which is very important thing to identify how the behaving of the market at the certain points and the certain levels. This is very important if we speak about uh, something which I'm doing and what Richard Vykov did when he traded back to 100 years ago. He was one of the most successful traders on the stock, basically on the, in the history. Jesse Livermore and um, Richard Vykov. Um, Richard Wyckoff liked it a lot to focus on the trading ranges. So when I said understanding the market background, I basically mean uh, to understand the um, anatomy in the, inside of trading range and to read the volume and see the background of the volume together with price action. Now, the next point I marked is the timing. Even if you know that you need to focus on the trading range and so on and so on, you must have the, bad, the good timing. If I compare you something like, since I also uh, trade the stocks, as well. So in the stock, for example, if the company got good uh, fundamentals and earnings and very good growth and so on and so on, technically, if you don't know to read when is the right time to enter, you can be stuck with the company and the company can be in consolidation or in the, tra or in the trading range for years um, after the institutions remain their major position. So you don't want to invest something. Even everyone knows, for example, the company have the good growth and so on. The very less percentage of the traders and uh, successful traders actually know um, exactly timing to enter for that do, for that company. That's the same way on the on the forex and any financial market. Basically, um, you know, like people can say that uh, USD will go lower, you know, and they're not wrong. I mean, on, on general lo logic perspective, for example, due to QE program. Um, you know, they like lower price on the euro, doing the fundamentals and tech. But the point is when you will actually enter and how you will um, earn and benefit from this. And that's the crucial because it's not point, it's, you know, there is a free, free types. Price can go up or down or, or to be neutral. But let's say that even banks telling you their opinions that something will go lower. You know, uh, euro will go the lower. They expecting the, you know, this, uh, the 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 quotation. You know, pretty much the dollar will be same like euro in the next period. So even if you know this, you know to time your entry to know to position in market, take the part of the cake and exit exit the market. That's the the part you need to. Um, no, it, 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 I speak on the short term, I speak on the intra frame, I speak on the mid and large term perspective. So you need to know where is the best timing, actually what's the best sector inside of instruments you trade to build your position on. Um, that is the key part in any financial market and in investing generally. And then finally managing position and risk control is the crucial part. Even you understand all these previous points, you have the knowledge in the, tr in, in, the, in, the, in the technical analysis, you know you have the perfect timing and so on, but your, your, your 
sizing in your risk proportion is very big, that can lead you to uh, bad results because you cannot overextend risk. You must be on the ground. Even you have big advance and your knowledge is much advanced than everyone else, most of the crowd in the public. Even you cannot afford yourself to risk, for example, 15, 20% or 10% in a single setup on the short term um, perspective. So if you want to build, again, on the short term perspective positions, you must build, uh, again, to, to, to some level where you you are, uh, to say, safe. You know, I risk mostly individually if I trade for myself, I risk 1% uh, in the short term setup. So, for example, I will explain that my recent uh, positions on British pound selling from last week and Euro New Zealand dollar also selling. Um, I built I built it last week and these positions are risk 0.5 and going for minimum one free ratio. I, I sometimes I catch one five ratio and so on. So I have the very good risk control. The drawdowns over the year are stable because of that risk control um, and everyone will, will invest. Um, any large investors will invest with you because you have such a low risk trading and very good proportion of your earnings compared to your risk, you know, in average. And then I want to say about, because I'm uh, re repeating this every time, the 90% of the traders don't have a clue about the currency fix on the, on the FX market. So... Currency fix is something which, again, as you see, uh, every every day a currency fix known as the Reuters fix is agreed based on the price that currency trades at over a 60 second period. At the center of the probe seems to be traders uh, eager to make a quick profit by buying up currencies just before they knew clients were going to buy large amounts of the same currency at the daily fix. Um, this way, the traders could sell on at the profit, uh, sell on on the profit when the price rose at the fix. And the explanation of that, I will show you the real explanation on the chart uh, when they appear. It appear basically, it can appear basically every day. It usually appears every day. It can it can appears also on the midterm perspective. And I will explain you how that actually how they play with the crowd and how they play with most of the traders. Again, some also appear to have passed on information to traders at other companies about big upcoming trades. All of this could have artificially raised the value of one currency against another. And this is the key part. If we speak about the manipulation, this is the manipulation on the FX market. And this is how they mani uh, doing ma manipulate with uh, basically traders who are not professional, who don't have the knowledge and who don't know to avoid these. Um, and these are ones about 90% of the market. So you don't want to be like them. You want to be uh, in these 5 6% successful traders, including, uh, again, myself, since I have the very good results over years. I trade with different investors. And, again, uh, I can teach you all this on my mentorship program, which I will speak to you um, at the end of the presentation. Right now, I will uh, put... Um, um, my screen to the chart and we will go to the live chart here so basically I want to um, so if you follow my work um, I alert you pretty much last week to uh, that I start to build a GBP USD selling positions on short term perspective uh, and I want to do also update on this on the British pound on Euro New Zealand dollar also I can speak is also about the USD and, and Maybe USD cat if you want again. Um, so let's see it about the GBP USD and the reasons why I build positions. Uh, first of all, if we speak again, that my first rule is you must you must know the overall picture, the big picture. For the big picture, you can use the larger frames because they are long-term frames, and you can see clearly there be the bigger picture. The GBP is in strong downward trend started to, uh, about July 2014 and we dropped about 2,600 pips from that point. Very, very strong downward lag. Later on, we started to correction. We correct to 50% retracement from this swing high to this swing low and price created a head and shoulders formation. This is a uh, classic topping action 
And after that, we broke the neckline here. We broke here, retested here, and then created another confirmed swing, uh, lower swing high. And now when we have one, two, three consecutive uh, lower swing highs, this is also third, fourth one, we know that this is a recontinuation by institutions as well. Now, when we know this and we have the background that uh, institutions are pretty bearish now, we can establish our positions for short-term perspective. We just need to wait certain times and certain conditions which can bring us a good um, potential uh, setups. So we cannot rush because we know that something will go down. We cannot just sell anywhere and hope that this will go somewhere down. You must, we must know where is the best timing to enter, where is the highest probability setup. So, as you know, as I said at the previous at the start of the webinar, I'm master. I'm master pretty much, and I'm um, focusing my trading um, about trading ranges. I read the trading ranges, uh, anatomy of the trading range, including the volume and pure price action analysis and volume spread analysis together with anatomy in the trading range. When I say trading range, as you know, probably you already know. Uh, trading range is some defined levels where we have support resistance contained in the in the certain amount of period. So, for example, in this situation, uh, this base or trading range is formed by about five days. So we went, we was in trading range about four uh, four days, and then um, we went lower and. Bro we broke the trading range lower here. This, if you go to the 30 minutes time frame here, this is the Vikov analysis and how you mark up and, uh, and you read the chart. So after we know that we are in strong downward trend on the larger perspective, we found the trading range and I spoke about uh, what is the fix on the market and uh, how the, the, the banks playing with the crowd. Basically, how they play is uh, um, very, very. Uh, it's it's very easy to see, you know. Once we got a trading range defined by the banks, you know, we got, um, uh, for example, this trading range, and traders see that. And once the banks see that a lot of pending orders at this stage here, they will buy just to fill the pending orders. Again, uh, close the sell uh, orders because the sellers here try to sell uh, into the, uh, from the resistance. So they feel the stop losses from the sellers inside of the trading range and also feel the pending orders, buy pending orders at this stage. Once they have a very big amount of the pending orders and they also uh, have the stop loss orders on the, on, the, on the same level, in the same area, they will buy and sell in the very fast. And that maneuver take them very good um, stop loss counting. They took the stop loss from the sellers. They took stop loss after on from the buyers. So again, banks, how the banks manipulate and how they trade and how they um, uh, do the stop loss counting is when they define the trading range. So banks define the trading range. Crowd agree with that trading range. Everyone is happy. Now, what we see is when the banks got a lot of pending orders or the breakout of the cluster of the defined trading range, for example, resistance, they have a millions of the pending orders and big lot sizes here. Also, they have the stop loss orders from the sellers from the resistance. They will go upward and downward. On that way, they uh, hit the stop loss from the sellers and fill the pending orders and then later on also close the pending orders by to the stop loss. This is the same thing happening here. This is another fix, currency fix. When they sell to fill the pending orders of the breakout traders and close the buyers who are trying to buy here near the support and there close them here. So the, another fix. You can see fix basically um, during the every day but here and define the trading range they do that with the big amount here you also break out of the trading range again retesting here everyone think this will go strong much 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 higher and then what's going on it's massive 
distribution and why we call this redistribution since previously we got the downward moment. And when I started to build position, it's as actually when we got a second sign of the weakness and, and we also created the last point of supply. If you go to the daily time frame, you see the clean bearish engulfing as well if we speak about the candle formations and very good confirmation of this bar break uh, has bro uh, broke the this swing low cluster and again my position on the British pound it's basically that I'm right now in the plus about 115 pips I'm going for uh, my final target is actually area of uh, 1.4 860, uh, which is approximately 160 pips away from current price. I'm going for one free ratio since my risk was about 100 pips here, and I'm going for about 300 pips. My risk, my minimum risk reward ratio is one free, so I don't think anything less than this. I secure after a certain amount of pips, and after the price action confirming that I can secure, and then I wait my full targets. We, the good thing about pound, we broke the swing low 1.5030, and now we're retesting that area, so now this support is acting like resistance, so we may see some confluence there, and then potentially lower on, going lower and lower. If we speak about the Wyckoff analysis, which uh, is very important, we got, I marked this according to the Wyckoff analysis, the, the points. We got the BC buying climax here, automatic rally here, which created basically the trading range. Now we have the uh, terminal up trust, and this is what they call the fix or stop loss hunting my banks. Then we, we got the eyes like support and we got the first sign of the weakness. But the daily confirmation didn't came out because the bar on the daily for that day finished neutral. And that was, they fake it again. They did a fix for this day. Then we got a few secondary test ST here and another up trust to the up trust. And this is the final up trust after distribution. And price distributed a lot from this point, went to the easily to trading range of 160 pips in a one in a one day. Then when I saw that, I started to build my position because I saw that swing lows are very close to the breakout area. So I don't need to actually wait a larger correction because I knew that we cannot expect some big larger corrections from this one. And this was the maximum 29 pips. I could catch better price, but I didn't want to uh, play with that because I could also miss opportunity very good opportunity if I wait uh, to try to catch better price um, and then after sign again after the, the this is the last point of supply where the supply is in the last in in, uh, in, in uh, this trading range area and then this is the back up back up to the ice ice is again like acting like support so this is an explanation and um, many many stop loss counting with banks here um, and crowd getting every time faked and got uh, manipulated, you know, by by big banks, you know. And if you don't know to read this, and if you don't know how how to play this and how to trade, it's a very very bad for you, and you will not be able to create good results, pretty much. Um, other thing, if I want to say, if you if you trade, if you want to trade every type of market, you will probably be uh, very, very. Um, if you want to trade every type of market, you will probably be in very bad situation because you cannot trade every type of market. You must be uh, in specific type of market. What type of trader you are? Um, so, for example, uh, since I'm trading, I focus on the trading ranges and how the how the anatomy of the trading range and the price action and uh, tr uh, basically the trend. So I don't focus on other type of market. I focus just when I see the good trading ranges and then I start. That's bring my attention to watch that currency pair. Uh, you know, for example. So I don't trade um, every day. For example, I position myself the good trading range and then I wait a good risk reward ratio and I project the base. Every base is different. Every base is unique. Every base got, got a different length, different um, anatomy inside, and so on. And any trading range can be projected according to the length and um, according to the how much pips we got from up to to down inside the trading range. And all this area make 
this projection, which I will not expl explain you here. I'm using the point figure chart, and that's a part of my main main tree program. So now this is about GBP USD pretty much. Um, tomorrow we have some news about the GBP. Um, I think Karnik speaks tomorrow and so on and so on. So depend on the fundamentals as well. They can it, it can easily go if fundamentals are very bad for GBP. It can easily go 150 pips tomorrow even depend on the news and the fundamentals. But pretty much I'm positioned. I'm secure here. So we'll see about tomorrow release of the news. Now I want to speak about my positioning on the Euro New Zealand dollar. And Euro New Zealand dollar actually topped with and created a strong trench uh, tra uh, trading range, which is I what I focus on mostly to trade based on the trading range and to see um, how to create the best timing uh, to enter. Everything started with a massive buying climax here. And we started the trading range, trading range, um, almost 27 days, trader were locked into this trading range, we got some up trust here. So the banks took the money from uh, weak holders pretty much. And then we started to distribute at this stage here. We got a clear breakout at this stage here. We broke also the 50 MA here as well. And this is a big distribution. Um, as you can see, this is a 700 pips range between swing low and swing high. This is a massive, this is a few thousand pips for sure. Now, after the 1000 pip drop out of the trading range, we created another trading range 24 days trading range, which, which is classic, in my opinion, classic redistribution. So I start to sell this. Uh, again, if you go to the, my recent setup, this is a trading range in the four hour. We got the selling climax here. We got automatic rally and this few seconds retest here. Now we got this is the up trust. And then we went here, retest this upward diagonal trend line, which is now acting like support. Now after the price went, what, well, Price uh, went higher. Buyers tried to break out of the trading range, think that they can reverse the trend and so on and so on. But as we know, we are in a strong downward trend. We change behavior from the distribution. As we know, any market work from accumulation to the reaccumulation uh, correction. So, for example, I will explain you very, very cleanly. So, for example, everything started with this. Basically, this is the daily time frame, and this is the accumulation where everything started. Okay, this is a str uh, accumulation and base actually a length of the base and this uh, spring and so on. It's actually about one month, uh, which is very good. And then um, l l uh, inside of this swing high to swing low, it's about 600 pips, which is very good. Projection is about a few thousand pips from this major accumulation. After price went to very strong, first of all, we went a, a few days upward and then retested this. Then we continued higher, and out of this, we went 700 pips. Then we went to the classic correction, but this is not major reaccumulation. So we knew this price will go to create somewhere up, upward. The, the banks will define again trading range to, to make a final reaccumulation. Re After the correction, price went, went amazingly 1,500 pips in approximately 13 days. And then we create a trading range here. Uh, which is very, very, very strong, about 26, and this is a major reaccumulation. And the reason why price exploded 2,000 pips, it's basically it's a lot of big institutions reaccumulated. There is a lot of pending orders. There's a lot of stop loss hunting together with the news impact. This is what is the result. After they take all their money and all their profits, they starting to take off their profits. The reason why we, why this bar finished like this is basically the ma massive institution and banks basically closed their positions, most of their positions they closed and they started uh, to watch to sell later on. So, uh, you know, if they don't hold large positions, if they, if they scale out, if they exit, the price start to drop and it dropped like half the bar here. Then we define trading range since the banks right now don't have the big buying positions, they define the trading range, okay? They're not right now on the market, or they're just doing the stop loss hunting, you know. And after the price uh, broke the strong trading range, we started to distribute, and all these buyers here, which exit around this stage here, now they're looking very, very strong at the sell. And this is what we call the distribution. Now, the same way, like the upward here, uh, projection for this is also very big, about a few thousand pips, even much, even approx more than this. 
since this run is about uh, 4,000, this can go much more, of course, in the next months. This, I speak about a long-term perspective. Since I tr triggered a short-term perspective uh, out of this base, I want to take like uh, one free ratio. My risk was 130 pips. Um, I, I took sell here right now. I'm in plus about 85, 89 pips. Uh, and uh, my actually target is the main 61.8. I'll just show you main 61.8 Fibonacci retrace and also some demand area here from this small trading range here. So this is a very good place to, uh, to take profit. Um, and of course, if you like to hold to the midterm position, you can even hold to this area here, which can bring you very about 1,000 pips return, risking 130 pips or about 110 approx, 1.8 risk reward ratio if you want to wait. Um, since I'm mostly doing the short term, uh, trading, I want to get run free and get out the market way the next, the more currencies to show me the new opportunities. And that's the way how I build account. If you're a long-term trader, you can actually wait and risk, for example, larger. Um, so if you, you can risk like two, 3% if you're just doing the, some midterm trading, for example, if you enter in this accumulation and this stage put the stop loss below like 250 pips or two, let's say 280 pips stop loss. Uh, you can put uh, like two, three percent if you're doing only again mid long term trades. And after the one, three, one, five ratio, um, you can just benefit much more. This went to 110, 115. So if you risk it like three percent, you take the one, five, it's 15 percent in a single setup. I think it's, it's you know, fair enough for the same thing here in the reaccumulation, the same thing, this on distribution, and the same thing potential this on, the, on this redistribution. Um, so that's my opinion, Euro New Zealand dollar. Um, again, back in here, uh, we got the up trust, up trust after distribution, last point of supply. This is another last point on supply. This is back up into the ice. That's the 50, uh, 50 retracement from this pre, uh, most recent uh, downward lag. And now it's heading lower. As we know, the fundamentals um, uh, for the euro, euro will probably uh, boost the Q, uh, QE program, you know. They like the lower euro price. New Zealand also look, um, it looks okay, you know. Technically, it looks very, very strong for a lower price. And it's not so bad also, um, uh, fundamentally. So this can also easily go. Uh, from this stage here, uh, easily to the 61.8 in this area, like even much lower to this area in the next days. Uh, and I hope I will take the one free ratio from this and the, from the pound, which will be very good. That's my opinion here in New Zealand dollar. And this is, you can see how uh, how the big bank institutions uh, build positions on and how they time their entry. Very successful. Now, um, for the end, I want to speak about the USD because you're interested about the USD and what's going on there. First of all, USD is in strong downward trend, and um, you know, fundamentally, it's also very weak. You know, dollar is very strong, and that's its fundamentally. Uh, if we if we speak just fundamental, it's a very strong for further downward movement. Anyway, you need the right time to enter and to build your sell position. So what I saw here is this base here, which is interesting for me because it's an eight, eight weeks base. And um, basically, it's also the trading range diagonal here um, with the strong support of 1.0452. That area, is, uh, it's very on, on the right now. Um, in the play, and if we see the clean breakout of that area, that will confirm further strong or downward moment. Uh, so how you play this, basically, it's it's basically you should sell the euro at this stage here or at this stage here. Why? Because it's a strong. Again, if you go, to, I will go to the daily time frame. This trading range is defined actually basically by 40 days, which is very make this trading range very strong. And this is distribution on the shorter perspective and look how it well how it played okay since the recent swing lows are here you can easily build selling positions here very easily even if you put like 
even you put like um, 150, 60 pips, you go for run free ratio, you'll finish it here. You know, you already finish it with this setup. Or you put start, uh, take profit exactly on, on this swing low from this stage here. Okay, so this is how you play. So you, uh, this is very important to understand because this is the strong uh, trading range. Okay, and this is how you play this one. And if you see the price action inside the trading range, it's a very strong. Again, why very strong? It's a very strong because look at the price action here look at the how they they did the up trust and you take you know up trust after distribution look at how very well this went to trading range without so no strong correction at all inside the trading range and this is retest and this is the area where you build selling positions and this is the already you are in good plus about one three one four ratio this is how you trade the EURUSD on anything. This is the best time to enter. Okay. Best time because we broke again. Go to the daily time frame. Look at how many days actually this support uh, uh, played here. See? Look at here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. This is a big, big, big support. And this is the clear breakout. You just pay attention to buy on some retest. You already know previously that fundamentally and technically, on the longer perspective, this is very downward. Right on. This is the very downward. So you have the larger perspective background for the lower price, and you have the on the weekly time frame you spot a strong trading range. You go to see the daily time frame how it performed. You see the very good quality breakout. You know, very, very good solid bar. Um, this was a 100 pips day a lower. And then one neutral day here. And you easily sell here. It's a high probability setup, basically. Uh, what started this distribution? Again, like a Vike said and did research, mostly they start with the buying climax. And then we start a training range. After the buying climax, we defined that we got usually the automatic rally. Air. Then we got a secondary test here, you know, and we got the up trust after distribution, and this is the sign of the weakness here. Okay, you can also put this deal on lane, also to confirm um, lower prices. So everything is set up for the lower, and this is how the institutions. Are. Uh, earn and how they time and how the professionals time. That's why I'm teaching you the mentorship program. You know, you can you can find very good opportunities. Um, good opportunities don't happen every day. Don't think like that. It happened on the when the conditions are met. You know, you need to be very patient to wait a good opportunity, and then you can benefit a lot. Okay. So you need to wait a good opportunity. Again, to form, to see the base, and then to tr to benefit a lot together with banks and institutions. If you are trading this, you can be uh, day by day. You can be in a lot of big troubles because they will do the fix ups every day. They will try to clean your stop loss and so on. If you have enough patience in your base, trade in your overall picture, watching the daily, weekly, tr trying to find the trading range to see the anatomy of the trading range of the lower frames, like I just show you on the four hour. Okay. And if you wonder, for example, why the price didn't continue for summer down this stage, you know, why the price didn't went lower and broke, for example, at this stage or at this stage or at this stage, because it didn't distribute, it didn't create the conditions for the banks and institutions to start and distribute. That's why. And this will go like this until we create some good conditions for price to drop. The banks need to take a lot, um, a lot of money. Once they establish the trading range, so they define the trading range, predefine the levels, and then they try to catch stop losses and to do the stop loss hunting by big holders. Once they did their job, they can recontinue where they massive selling, and then the public later on will join once they see that how much selling is strong. Okay, 
but your timing, your your winning ratio, and you build very good. Every every position you build, you build with very very, uh, very very strong approach, which make you a very very professional trader and very profitable trader. So that's about the euro. Uh, again, watch for this level, one point zero four hundred fifty, and that will confirm further downward continuation if we see the breakout that in high volume. Again, the good opportunity is not right now. Uh, it was again at this stage here. That was about 23 days ago on the euro. From that point, I didn't saw any good opportunity uh, on the USD. So again, if you want to learn how to um, to to trade like professionals, uh, how to follow the banks and avoid uh, stop loss hunting and don't be like crowd in the public, you know, to lose money. My advice to start ma my mentorship program, again, I will write here on the chat my Skype username so you can add me and we can speak about potential corporation. I'm also doing the I'm man managing accounts as well if you're an investor and if you want to learn as well at the same time I can also teach you um, all you need to focus on and how I trade. Again, everything starting. I will take the pen and write here. The logic on any financial market is basically that market, if we, if we want to see the upward trend, we need to f define the trading range by banks. In that trading range, they, uh, what they're doing with that trading range is they make liquidity, they make the scalpers to do the liquidity for them because the banks are, as you know, liquidity providers for broker for broker houses. So they, they see the larger liquidity when they lock the traders because they bring the scalpers and the, and the traders could trade basically on the based on the support resistance. Now when they, when they attract them, they attract the breakout traders because the breakout traders like to see define the trading range to 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 build the pending orders and so on and so on. So they attracted most of the public and the professionals with this trading range. There they won't just go to, to give possibility to everyone to earn buy the swing low, sell the uh, sell near the highs, and they will very often when they see a lot of for example, let's see we have this low uh, pending order you know banks see all your transactions all your um, basically stop uh, where is your stop loss and so on where are your pending orders they have absolutely everything uh, in the database when they see that there is a millions of the lots uh, uh, waiting here to pending orders for example for breakout lower and they have a the lot of buying orders here with a stop loss the, the same area they will just clean up like this and it, it can be a very fast you know and that's create a spring that's what's called the spring bike of called the spring Later on, they can do that even one more time to break this, or it doesn't. It, it can be as much they want. You must know that they can hold you in the. They can hold the trading range as much they want. They can hold a one month, few weeks, or three months or one year. You know, once they're happy, once they clean pretty much most of them, they will continue with their um, investing, and they they will accumulate, you know, and go upward, and this will be the sign of strength. Okay. Usually they will retest this to make um, professionals to also bring with them, you know, so professionals see this opportunity and they can rejoin. That's how it continue. It can also have more uh, corrections like this and then we start to create another trading range to reaccumulate. Re um, uh, to reaccumulate. This is the area where um, institutions exit maybe half of their positions, you know, uh, or, um, uh, pardon, uh, where the institutions add, add uh, more, more, more lots, add more positions, but not larger than the, than the major positions they entered here. So they're just adding to this one. This also make them to create the liquidity, to bring the breakout traders and so on and so on, the same way I explained here. Once they clean up everyone, in this trading range, the scalpers and the breakout traders, they can recontinue with buying and they can massively buy. Okay. Later on, uh, they exit all their positions from this major one and this 
uh, rebuilt one and they once they exited price tend to fall immediately and start again the trading range or immediately start the trading range why because the massive positions by uh, the buyers the institutions don't support the, that currency for example and because they don't support with big money price not have power to go any higher because it's all about demand and supply if there is no massive demand there is no more demand and supply price cannot go higher which means it can only, it can only go sideways or lower very simple usually again it's going sideways or slightly lower than sideways and create a what a distribution potential why distribution since we know that institutions exited they right now waiting to sell they took a very good amount of pips here okay now they will also clean up everyone inside of this once we got the breakout it can be a retest and then we start distribution okay distribution if distribution is not big again depend on the length of this which I'm teaching a mentorship program depend on the length if distribution is weak um, it will still distribute, but maybe again it will be just only um, uh, not big one that this major accumulation. If this is a strong dis distribution like this one, it will be the same way, just opposite again. They will do sell here. They will price will go with the corrections and so on, and then we create trading range, and that will be the redistribution to go lower. Okay. Then it price it can go lower, 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 you know, as much lower with the slightly corrections. As you can see in this example, this is the classic distribution form, okay, with a double up trust and up trust after distribution. Price went here, and this is the area where you can easily sell position. And as you can see, there is no big, <laughs> there is no big uh, redistribution. It's just going lower, you know, confirmed by fundamentals. Um, fundamentals confirm this there is no any banks are happy and as we know from the fundamentals banks are really happy uh, and they expect lower price so they even don't want to give the chance to, to quality redistribution and actually as you see they give the chance exactly this stage here because this is a form of redistribution and this is the form where you actually trigger position here okay that's how they play if you if you want to try to catch fight fight every day uh, you know you will just lose time and lose the money you know you must know where to time your entry and how they how basically they trade on when they exit positions why they do the trading range and why the trading range is so important this trading range is also diagonal and also the trading range is horizontal at this stage here the good position is to build you have the bot agree you have the horizontal defined very good and you have the breakout as we saw in the daily time frame okay now how much we lower we can go we can go much lower but again we go we must go step by step one uh one zero uh 1.0450 is a swing low here from defined the trading where the trading range started if we break this when we can really go much much lower and banks expecting quotation on this pair and it's very possible as well because the strength in this one uh, and this redistribution is also very big so it make this pair really in the next year into quotation okay so the key point here is to position yourself in the right time understand the market principle and to read the activity and volume um and bar by bar read bar by bar inside inside the chart try to find the formations the well-known formations like topping for like head and shoulders and so on uh, read the volume follow the big institutions and don't be like 90 percent of the traders of the crowd which will just go and uh, you know without any knowledge on the market trade every day and, sh and think that they can earn every day on any type of market that's very wrong professionals so i'm telling you just my way of success and how i made success and how I'm performing very good and so on and so on again you must know what's the best time to enter what what conditions you need to build your transaction okay once you um, once you understand 
the logic, you know, and how the market works. You need to be patient and wait the certain conditions of the market to appear to pay your attention and that you uh, then follow and see how you will play that. Okay? And read the anatomy of the trading range, which is, again, main thing in my mentorship program. You can lose years and years, money and money, to find the right knowledge and to, to learn something which will really can change your whole trading and basically your whole life later on because you can create very good success and you can create financial freedom if you are very if you uh, understand this and uh, and uh, you know go very deep and very uh, very serious in this this is a not game you know this is a really really serious business and yeah you know it take you miss you must have good knowledge you know good practice on this one to understand and to see where is the best timing to enter once you understand everything and then you just define your money management uh, rules and that's it. You follow your progress of the setup. You're managing, you secure after a certain amount of pips after the price action, confirm that you can uh, put a stop loss, for example, break even. And then watch, I'm going from minimum, minimum one free ratio. If I risk 1%, I'm going for minimum 3% return. I'm not happy if the base project is not uh, achieve my one free ratio. Okay, so again, this is how market works, and this is and every market which we can you can see chart and price, any market the same way, okay. And that's pretty much what I'm teaching you on the mentorship program. Now this is the end um, of my one-hour webinar. I will upload this to YouTube so you can watch. Uh, so you can watch over and over. My advice for everyone, don't lose time. You have 90% non-important things at all. On the, on, the, on the internet, you can find a lot of Forex. You know, the education you can find it's very limited and very, very basic. You need a much deeper education, you know, to understand the much details about the price action behaving, you know. Someone say, for example, there is a fundamental type of traders and so on and so on. Don't get me wrong. The anatomy of the trading range, the Vike of research, and he was one of the best traders in the world and best investors, you know, uh, back in 220 years ago. Um, but the logic is same. The psychologically of the banks and psychologic of the crowd, it's always the same. It will be the same forever as long as we have the market and, you know, and the money. This is the same logic every, every, every time. Now, I didn't say that it's only way to succeed and, and create results. It's only to trade the training range and to see when is the accumulation, redistribution or distribution and so on. But that's the way you can achieve the very highest risk reward ratio. That's the area where your timing, timing is very, very on, on the top. And you exactly know what you wait, what type of conditions the market you wait, and you know why this type of conditions you wait. Uh, if you're, for example, the pure trend trader, the trends on the financial market appears about 15 to 20 percent during the year. So basically, you're very limited with. You can be profitable only trading, for example, the trend techniques, the proven. But the the uh, the, the time you will have, you have just 15 percent during the year. If you catch that, that's it. If you miss some of these 50 15 percent um, trends then you will have very bad year or very weak results here. With the trading ranges, you, you can find in a lot of instruments, trading ranges are formed every month. Basically, you can find some trading ranges, some currency pairs, you know. Some, someone of stronger, someone which can give you a very strong, it can go, for example, 1 to 10 ratio potential, somewhere we get 1, 5 maximum, but anyway, you're going from minimum 1, 3, and then you can close. If you want, it's all about you. Um, so it's not important to be always on the market. It's important to be um, on the right time, in the right time. That's most important. I can be on the market during the year about five times a month. Okay. I will, I will open positions, let's say, or four times in a month. Uh, you know, about 50 positions a year. And I can achieve the very, very, very big results and the very, very strong, uh, 
the win ratio because I have the perfect timing and the perfect risk reward ratio control. I also have the good money management and all this make you the very good, very, very professional trader with very good results. And if I want to trade every day, every type of market, you know, benefit from every every price, every price moment, you will go to the very, very big troubles and that can cost you the big money and you can lose a lot of money. You must know when to trade, it's a bust, uh, what's the best instrument to trade, where we build conditions and so on and so on. Watch the whole background, see where the institutions on the, the large institutions or the long-term traders where, where they are. I'm basically, I mean on the banks because banks are long-term traders. Uh, they trend on the long-term perspective. And then watch the lower perspective to build short-term opportunities and that's it. Anyway, I wrote to Sky at I'm happy that you joined this webinar and I hope in the future we'll do we'll start a cooperation. Uh, that's it for this uh, webinar. I hope you enjoyed and I wish you good trading and have a nice day.